I guess Jacqueline Sarati to come up and sing the national anthem. Fourth year since the fall of Saigon. By today's standards, that's two generations. For some, it's a long time ago. For others, like it was yesterday. It's been written that in heaven, an hour is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like an hour. For their brothers in arms, friends and loved ones of Rockland's lost patrol, sense of loss exonerates in us still, no matter in all the time. Still, some of us here tonight may have known them only as Marines, sailors, soldiers, airmen, CVs. Most merciful Lloyd, we ask you to be with each one of us tonight. As we watch this fire, we ask you, Lord, to remind us of its meaning. Those that have given their lives for our country, especially this area here, which is so full of history from the Revolutionary War. And gracious Lord, we ask you to be with their families and friends and those gathered here today, Lord. Gracious Lord, we thank the Vietnam vets that continue to keep this much fire going year after year. Their efforts are not in vain. We pray, Lord, for our veterans that are in nursing homes and hospitals, recuperating from injuries of war. Our country's first war and have been common to all war since. General Washington used them to signal the ceasefire ending the Revolutionary War. And references made to use the use of them during the Civil War and the Battle Hymn of the Republic. These fires, 21 foot square at the base, 21 feet high at the peak, were built in rows along the west shore of the Hudson River. Since 1987, Rockland County's Vietnam veterans have come together to build such fires according to military regulations and specifications back to the 1700s. Watch fires are built every year on May 30th, the traditional Memorial Day. They are lit at midnight and burn until dawn on Memorial Day, then refueled at dark and burn till midnight again. Veterans stand watch, changing shifts throughout the night and day and night again as they did a generation ago, more than that. In Vietnam, the mountaintops were our base camps, a more secure area where, where watch was kept through the night. And a special watch kept, we had a patrol that was still out. So the symbolism, keeping vigil by the watch fires for our fallen brothers. Our patrol has not, still not returned. And the patrols of past wars, back to our country's First soldiers who fought along these shores. Now the soldiers pledge, and he said, if we look to answer as to why, for so many years, we have achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth. It was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. 
freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who said that we're in a time when there are not heroes, well, they just don't know where to look for them. The sloping hills of Arlington Cemetery, with its row upon row of simple white markers bearing crosses or stars of David, that they add up to only a tiny fraction of the price that has been paid for our freedom. Each one of those markers is a monument to the kind of hero I spoke of. Their lives ended in places called Blue Wood, the Argonne, Omaha Beach, Salerno, and halfway around the world to Guadalcanal, Tarawan, Pork Chop Hill, Chosen Reservoir, and in a hundred jungles and rice paddies of a place called Vietnam. And as I said, we're going to read out the names of the uh, Rocky <coughs> County veterans killed in Vietnam. Once we're done with that, I will ask uh, each one of you to call out a name of a loved one or Joseph P. Conklin, Bernard Conklin, Peter E. Colden, Raymond W. DeMola, Andrew J. Daniel, William Dorsey, Harold J. Faldemeyer, William L. Garrison, James F. Gillis, Robert A. Hagen, Jr. Horton, Jr. John Joseph Luzon. Sergeant Anthony W. Bixey.
Oh, yes, it is. 